find the value of square root of 16 over 4 minus square root of 15. To solve this, I'm going to multiply both top and bottom by conjugate of denominator. But what is conjugate of 4 minus square root of 15? Welcome to Math with Teacher MJ. In this video, I'm going to solve this fun little math problem. But before I start the solution, please feel free, pause the video, solve it yourself, then compare your answers with my solution. Remember, if you use different way to solve this question, please let me know. It always makes me happy to see how creative you guys can be. Now I'm going to start the solution after three seconds. One, two, go ahead and get started. To solve this, I'm going to start with this inner part. 16 over 4 minus square root of 15. Let me rewrite it. Then multiply both top and bottom by conjugate of denominator. Conjugate of 4 minus square root of 15 is 4 plus square root of 15. Next, 16 times 4 is going to be 64. 16 times s square root of 15 is going to be 16 s square root of 15. Now, 4 minus s square root of 15 times 4 plus s square root of 15. This is in the form of a minus b times a plus b. As you know, a minus b times a plus b can be written as a squared minus b squared. So, 4 minus s square root of 15 times 4 plus s square root of 15 is going to be 4 s squared minus s square root of 15 s squared. Next, 4 s squared is 16. s square root of 15 s squared is 15. 16 minus 15 is going to be 1. So the answer is going to be 64 plus 16 s square root of 15. But what is the next? Here I have 64, 16 s square root of 15. As you know, 16 can be written as a product of 2 and 8. Also, 15 can be written as a product of 5 and 3. Let's do it. 16 or 2 times 8. 15 or 5 times 3. But what is the next? As the next step, I am going to put this 8 inside the s square root. And we need to write 8 times 8 or 8 s squared. So it's going to be 64 plus 2 times s square root of 8 times 8 times 5 times 3. But what is the next step? As the next step, I'm going to multiply this 8 by this 5 and this 8 by this 3. 8 times 5, 14. 8 times 3, 24. So it's going to be 64 plus 2 times s square root of 40 times s square root of 8 times 24. But what is the next step? To continue the solution, I'm going to follow a math rule that says s square root of a, b can be written as s square root of a times s square root of b. So s square root of 40 times 24 can be written as s square root of 40 times s square root of 24. Let's write it. 2 s square root of 40 times 24. What, what is the next step? Look carefully. We have 64, we have 40, we have 24. To continue the solution, I am going to rewrite this 64 as the, as the sum of 40 and 24. Right. 
64 can be written as the sum of 40 and 24 plus 2 a square root of 40 times a square root of 24. Now, what do we have? We have 40, we have 24, we have twice of the product of a square root of 40 and a square root of 24. Can you guess what is the answer? I'm sure you can, but let me help you more. 40 can be written as a square root of 40 a square, right? 24 can be written as a square root of 24 a square. Now, what do we have? We have first term a square, second term a square, plus twice of the product of the first term and second term. Now, can you guess? If you need more help, okay, let me replace this term and this term. So it's gonna be a square root of 40 a square plus 2 a square root of 40 times a square root of 24 plus a square root of 24 a square. Look, first term a square plus twice of the product of the first term and second term plus second term a square. What is this? Right. A plus B a square. A squared of the product of a squared of the sum of two terms is first term a squared plus twice of the product of the first term and second term plus second term a squared. So a square root of 40 a squared plus 2 a square root of 40 times a square root of 24 plus a square root of 24 a squared can be written as first term plus second term a squared. I will write first term a square root of 40 plus second term a square root of 24 a square this is our inner part but we need to calculate a square root of this so let me rewrite it here this is gonna be 16 over 4 minus a square root of 15 is a square root of 40 plus a square root of 24 whole a square. These two as exponent, these two as root cancel off. So the answer is a square root of 40 plus a square root of 24. Until here, we did it well. Good job. But how can we continue? We have 40. 40 can be written as a product of two numbers, 8 and 5. 24 can be written as the product of two numbers, 8 and 3. Let's do it. A square root of 40 or 8 times 5. Plus a square root of 24 or 8 times Three. To continue the solution, again, I want to follow this rule. A square root of AB is a square root of A times a square root of B. So a square root of A, a times 5 can be written as a square root of A times a square root of 5 plus a square root of 8 times a square root of 3. What is the common factor? between this term and this term, a square root of 8. So let me factor a square root of 8 out. It's going to be a square root of 5 plus a square root of 3. Now, what is a square root of 8? 8 can be written as a product of 4 times 2. So it can be written as the product of a square root of 4 times a square root of 2. times a square root of 5 plus a square root of 3. As you know, 4 is a perfect square, and a square root of 4 is 2. So it's going to be 2 a square root of 2 times a square root of 5 plus a square root of 
screen. And this is our most simplified answer of our question. This is our final answer. Remember, if you use different way to solve this, please let me know. It always makes me happy to see how creative you guys can be. Have fun.